So I'm trying to create a video um, using iMovie on my iPad and I'm running into all kinds of difficulties. So the iPad definitely works different than the computer. So for one, you may notice that anytime you put a picture on here, um, it does it automatically on Ken Burns. And if you want to get it off of Ken Burns, then you'll have a really cropped image. So what I'm going to show you is how, without going through the problem of creating another app and transferring a picture to an app and then bringing it back onto iMac or to the iMovie, uh, this is one way you can do it. So we're going to go get a, a picture. Mine are just downloaded on here under files. Let's see, I'll just um, grab a picture. Here's one, it's a vertical picture. Um, so I'm gonna add it to the movie. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna crop the whole thing. Let me go back. Um, so when I play it, um, it's all cropped. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is let me just shrink this, I'll put it down. I, I like my pictures about two seconds. So I'm just gonna slide this bar to two seconds. Then I'm gonna go to the front of that clip. I'm gonna go back to files again. Grab that picture. And now it says add to movie or more. I'm gonna hit more. And I'm gonna put it as a cutaway hit cut away and what that does is it brings it to the top of my picture so if let's see what happens it'll make it kind of jump well, so it kind of starts with that cropped picture and then jumps to the whole shot so now what I do is I take that cutaway part and I'm going to extend it all the way over to that last picture. Now, when I play it, it doesn't do that jumpy motion. So I'm going to take another picture, go back to files. And let me see what I want. Let me take this one. I'm going to add it to the movie. So I'm right behind what I just added. I'm going to put that there shrink it down to the size I want two seconds now I've got to move this right back to the beginning of the picture grab that picture again more cut away brings it to the top so when I'm doing back-to-back um, -back pictures like this, I could just scoot that one over to the middle and scoot this one over, as long as they're touching. So if there's a gap between it, it's gonna be a jumpy image. So let's see what happens here. I go on, there I have the whole picture. Okay, let's try a different one. Um, here's another one that will really get cropped. I'm going to add it to the movie and right after this one, add it to the movie. There it goes. See how cropped it is. Let's push that back to two seconds or however many seconds you want your picture to be on. Now I'm going to bring it back to the front of that clip. Go back to files, find that picture again, more, cut away on top, make sure there's not a gap, and um, let's play it. Okay. Oh yeah, so what I was going to show you one more time, let's go to files, grab another picture. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Okay, here's one. Let me just grab that, add it to the movie. And just again, to remind you what happens, um, if I don't do that, here's what I get. So I'm going through my video, whole picture, whole picture, and crop. I see nothing of that. Um, I didn't, uh, since, since this last picture was the last one before I added that one, I do have to shrink this cut away to the start of this next picture. So I just wanted to show you that. Here it goes whole picture to completely cropped. Um, the other thing that is different now moving from the um, using an iPad is when you do a title, you don't get a separate title page. You can only put a title on a picture that you already have, um, which is kind of a pain. So this is what I did is I just took a picture of a red chair. So like here, I can just take a picture of this ottoman here and that'll be a solid background color. I download it, I add it, and then I, I bring that as my picture just having the red background or whatever color you use and then I go to the bottom to the text here or titles rather I bring up the title and I can write on it that's the only way to bring a separate title page without having the title written on your picture all right I hope that helps um, it took me a while to figure it out it's definitely a lot harder to do iMovie on and on this iPad. Uh, very disappointing, but there you have it.